Hi, my name is Brian Clark, and before we start the video on how to restore the threads on your Crabtree Bakelite bulb holder, um, just a quick note on safety. Um, during some of the processes, quite a lot of Bakelite dust is produced, um, especially when you're sanding down with your Dremel. I would highly or strongly recommend that you use a at least a particle mask and rig up some kind of dust extraction. Either make sure you've got a hoover close by that sucks up the dust. It really isn't good for you um, if you inhale any of this stuff. Okay, let's get started. Hi everybody. So today I'm going to go through the process that I use to restore these Crabtree um, angle poise lamp holders. Um, so first off, as you can see, the the threads and the Bakelite and everything is just completely disintegrated. So the first thing to do is to take all of this threaded section and all of the um, Bakelite you see sticking through the actual bulb hole itself um, is to remove all of that with a Dremel. So um, I'll do that and I'll get back to you. So then you get to this point. So now, obviously, you've got to remove the brass um, original holder, lamp holder, um, by making a small cut. I normally go sort of across here and across there, so it's the least amount of metal, and then you prise it off. So I'll make that cut and on to the next stage. The other thing you need to take into consideration is the gap, is the distance between the base of the bulb holder to the actual, um, where the little prong on the bulb sits. Um, obviously if it's too far out, um, the bulb it won't hit the contactors and if it's too far in you won't be able to twist the bulb around. So the easiest way to do is just get a, a lollipop stick, push it in against there and then mark that distance there. Uh, in this case it's 9.3 millimetres. Okay, let's cut the ring off. Okay, now that's done, you just need to carefully prise the old ring off with your fingers. Try not to do any damage to the, there we go, and off it comes. Now the next stage is to prepare this, which is just a brass bayonet um, bulb holder. Get them in anywhere, TLC, eBay, whatever. But you only need take it to bits. You need to keep that bit obviously. But the only bit you need is is this bit. So now we're gonna cut this so that fits over there snugly and that distance between there and there is the same. Okay, so I'll get that prepared now. So, as you can see, it now fits snugly over there. So that's it for fit-wise. Now, obviously you must make sure that the um, contacts in there are at right angle to where slot is on the lamp and obviously um, otherwise it won't work so now that is a little bit loose so what I'm going to do I'm going to cut as you can see for my measuring stick I made earlier it's a bit so it needs to go this needs to be I need to cut some over here in order for it to make it fit a bit better so I'll just get that done 
Okay, now I've cut the sleeve down to the right depth and to aid assembly, if you make a mark on the bulb holder body, make sure it all lines up. And you can just make sure it all fits together. And then it's just a case of getting some five mm aldite in here and then assembling it all let it go off and you should have a crabtree bulb holder ready for use okay i would also suggest um just temporarily wiring it up to a lead and as long as you've made it snug enough you can try it all out before you glue it together um, might be an idea um, otherwise you have to take it all off again okay i hope this has helped it's been fun doing it um any questions just send me a message okay bye